Hello, we're back with 999. It's been a good week and a half, so... I have no idea what the fuck just happened. But we'll see. I'll figure it out eventually. Ah, uh, where did we leave off? Something about I'm gonna have to probably do some puzzles. Let's get right to it. Okay, so... Their bomb thing is activated, and... They had scarcely processed this information when... Resident Evil FMB shut goes the door. Okay. With a metallic slam, the numbered door behind them swung shut. Unless they could find the device that would deactivate the detonators on their wrists, they would not be leaving the hallway. Well, spiritually, they might be. Hey. Where's the dead? The fear and urgency in Seven's face... <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's a bad time. It's a bad time to be recording when I'm burping. The fear and urgency in Seven's face reflected what all three of them felt. Junpei spun around, searching desperately for the dead. He found it easily enough. It was on the wall, next to the closed door labeled 5. Found it! Right here. As he yelled, he struck the scanner with his hand. The other two scrambled to follow suit. And as soon as they finished, Snake threw the lever down. Well, that was bullshit. I guess I don't get to solve any puzzles today. Maybe later. These guys are probably thinking exactly what I'm thinking. That was too easy. Well, it looks like it stopped. As he spoke, Junpei wiped the sweat from his forehead with a trembling hand. Uh, goddamn thing's gonna give me a heart attack. A muscle stood out in Seven's neck, and the corners of his mouth were twitching. Junpei, are you alright? Are you guys okay? They could hear anxious voices, muffled but distinct, from the other side of the door. Yeah, we're fine. The detonators have been deactivated. Uh, I forgot what weird fucking voice I gave every other character. I'll probably figure it out when I see them. They heard relieved, uh, relieved sighs, and even though through the door, the three men could feel the tension disperse. Alright, we're moving on. Be careful, okay? Okay. Sure thing. They heard footsteps moving away, and before long, they were alone again. Junpei looked around. Time to progress, I guess. That rhymed. The hallway hit a dead end 20 or 30 feet from where they stood. A thick iron wall blocked their way. Dry as they might to force it, the wall refused to move. To the left, however, was a wooden door that looked positively inviting by comparison. It's all a trap. In the middle of it was a plaque that read First Class. Yeah. These look like first-class kind of people, especially Snake. A first-class cabin, huh? Well, it seems like it. Let's have a look, then, shall we? Uh... Oh, that was... That was a weird thing. No, yeah, whatever. Uh, without hesitation, Snake opened the door and stepped inside. Seven followed closely behind him. Junpei moved to follow them as well, but... He stopped just sort of the threshold and looked back, not knowing why. I, too, enjoy looking at murder scenes. Lying in the small hallway was a man's body, or at least what was left of it. Yes, I know, rest in peace number nine. He tried hard to avoid looking at the grisly scene, but it just wouldn't. Leave. His mind. Uh, what had once been a man's internal organs now looked so much vomit. I, uh, I'm good at reading. As though something had chewed up and spit out the better part of his torso. It was hideous, but worse still, it was cruel. It was hard to believe the thing on the floor had been once human. Why does it sound like the sound quality is going to hell? Huh, this is weird. Eh, maybe it won't come out in the after editing. Anyway. The black pool of thick blood, the lumps of glistening flesh spread across the floor, the awkward, twisted tangle of shredded intestines, the head wrenched to some grotesque, unnatural position, and the man's glasses lay next to his head. The lenses were cracked and the frame was bent and distorted, and next to the glasses lay a bracelet and the number 9 displayed on its face. Lastly, let us discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from the ship, blah blah blah, your heart rate reaches zero. Okay. Shut down automatically. 
Okay. Man, I really hope someone figures out how to steal their heartbeat to, like, bullshit their way out of this game. <laughs> Suddenly, Junpei felt his stomach convulse and a knot of muscle gripped his throat. Is he gonna, is he gonna puke? He clapped his hands over his mouth and ran to the first-class cabin so he could puke in all its fancy glory. The atmosphere changed immediately. The room was gorgeous, and despite the apparent age of the ship, none the worse for wear. He looked around. Seven and Snake were nowhere to be seen. Oh, this looks like a puzzle room. It's gotta be here. There's got to be gameplay here. He looked around, and Seven and Snake were nowhere to be seen. There were two doors on the right side of the room. He opened one of them on the right and went through. Oh, this is a lot of fucking doors. On the other side of the door was a short hallway. He jogged down the hallway, opened the door at the other end, and peeked through. There they were, to his right, busy examining something. He stepped through the door and walked towards them. Shit's puzzles. What's up? Check this out. We found this thing here on the door. The red light's on. Does that mean it's locked? Eh, red usually means locked. Yeah, that's safe to assume. Is there any other way out? We looked around a little. Other than this door, we couldn't find anything. Even though there seemed to be a fuck ton of doors in this small cabin, but hey, what do I know? So you're telling me that unless we open this door... Yep, we won't be going anywhere. Junpei stepped away from the door and looked around the room. The room they were in looked like a bedroom. He figured the room he'd, uh, he'd originally entered was a living room, or whatever, passed for one on a ship. All right, let's find a way to open this door. Come on, guys. Okay, that's how you know. This this sequence of flashes right here. Seek a way out. Okay. Let's see, we got the first class cabin. Uh... Huh. Where to begin? Well, let's look at the lock, I suppose. Huh, <sighs> so this is the locking thing. It's flashing red. That's usually not a good sign. Is that a microphone? Looks like a satellite dish. Some microphones look like satellite dishes. Sort of. Maybe you need to say something to it. Let me see. <laughs> well, judging by the feel of it, I would guess that we're meant to produce some sort of sound. This device will sense it and unlock it. Therefore, make every sound imaginable, and the door will eventually open. Doesn't look like there's a keyhole. Yep, but there is the microphone. Alright, let's back off. What do we got on the bed? Of course, there's something under the pillow. Uh, we've got a score plate. Oh, I don't like playing music. I can hardly see that thing. I see, this feels like glass. A rectangular plate of glass. Is there something written on the surface? Yep, it's sheet of music with a couple notes on it. Just stay notes. Yeah, that's it. That is kinda weird. Well, it's glass, so maybe I have to project something through it or onto it. I don't know. It took Junpei by surprise. Snake, usually so calm and collected, suddenly began to move. He stared about the room almost frantically, clearly looking for something. Looking for something. Oh, Snake. No, Junpei thought, not staring. Yeah, there we go. After all, he's blind. Blind or not, Snake was cruelly attempting to do something as any logical person should be doing in such a situation. At last, Junpei could no longer contain his curiosity. What are you doing? What is he doing? Wait in a moment, and... I heard something strange. Oh, the blind man has an improved sense of hearing. This is great. Something strange? Oh, well, never mind. Doesn't seem to be anything suspicious. Nope, Zero probably set this whole thing up perfectly. He, he knew. He knew Snake would be in here. Or maybe he just set up some really faint sound in both paths. Just in case, I don't know. I don't wish to toot my own horn, but my auditory senses are considerably more advanced than those of most humans. I noticed even the slightest of noises. Right, are you gonna tell me you could hear a needle drop from a mile away? Huh, such a thing would be impossible. 
However, by listening to the sound of footsteps and breathing, as well as sound echoing off the environment, I can locate mo most objects. Oh yeah, that's right. You're a fucking bat. When Clover fell on the big staircase a little while ago, you were at her side. Immediately. So that was... Huh. Echo communication. Echo location? Ah, eh, whatever. Yes, I could hear it happening. In fact, I can run quite fast. Certainly as fast as you. And should someone attempt to start a fight with me, I am confident that I could defeat them. I like you, Snake. I like you. Junpei was somewhat taken aback by this revelation. He stared at Snake, skeptical. You don't believe me, do you? Fight me right now. No? Okay. Care to give me a try? I must warn you, you'll no doubt regret it. Oh, my nose is getting a little stuffy. Well, I suppose that's enough playing around. Let's resume our search, shall we? With a small, self-satisfied smile, Snake turned and walked away from Junpei with the shit eatiest grin you have ever seen. Anything else on the bed? Eh, canopy. Things like this in movies. Sure, you don't see too many of these kinds of beds these days. I can't see the details, obviously, but I imagine it's one of those princess beds Clover is so fond of. Clover wants one of these? Yes, she wants a princess bed. Didn't I say that? You think it doesn't suit her? I'm not saying anything, Snake. Ah, I guess you could say that. Ah, Junpei. Judge her by appearance, will you? And where you should not. Alright. Doesn't look like those open or anything. I clicked the fucking bed again. Okay. Nothing under the pillow. I need to stop clicking this thing. Alright, let's back off. Uh, how about this thing? Small round chair, looks like it probably goes to the vanity. Can I push it? No. White desk, feels kinda fancy. I apparently can't click it, though. That's cool. Uh, well, at least we've got some light. What? Uh, huh? What the hell, man? It's just a light. Uh, oh. Of, of course. Alright, he's clearly hearing some weird bullshit. Is it coming from the light? Might be coming from the light. I wonder. How do I use items? Uh, 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 back? Lights are on. I'm gonna have to figure out how to use the things eventually. Oh well. Uh, we got search. Some s nope, nope. Okay, nothing to help us for now. We'll keep searching for now. Something's up with that light. Maybe it's making a weird noise, though. Oh, that's not what I want to do. We gotta do this... Ah, what's the word I'm looking for? Structurally? Nah. Sequentially, yes. Sequentially. Room by room. It's totally a table with a mirror. Totally. Ah, yes, you know that thing is known as a vanity. Were you aware of that, Junpei? Of course, vanity also refers to self-love, conceit, and narcissism. I... <laughs> well, you seem to know a lot about that, Snake. As such, you could say that every day when a woman looks into one of these, she is staring at her own conceit and narcissism. Doesn't that strike you as terribly sad? You're a weird guy, Snake. The lights are still lit. Uh, -ta 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 -ta. And we got a piano. I wonder what I am possibly going to do with this thing. Uh. Ding dong! Ah, well, this piano. There's something amiss with the keys. You mean it's out of tune? No, no, not that. It's properly tuned, just, well, the sounds are clearly purposefully different. The C doesn't yield a C, but rather a different note entirely. The same goes for the D keys. They play some other note. Eh? Why do you think it's like that? Isn't it painfully obvious? Zero modified it in some way. Because it's probably the key out of here. You're not wrong, Snake. That is part of the puzzle. Perhaps if we play the keys in the correct order, something will happen. In other words, we need to play a song on the piano. 
I believe so. Ah. Neat. Alright, let's back off. And I never did figure out how this thing worked. Oh well. Let's eeny meeny miny mo left right left right left right always go left. Eh, it's a light switch. Nothing happens when I press it though. Ah, door after door after door. And there we are in the mirror. What a pair! A college kid and a terrifying giant of a man in a beanie, stuck in a crown's bathroom. <sighs> what are the implications of such a scene, I wonder? Ah, what would my parents say? Eh, something wrong, Junpei? You looked real sad all of a sudden. Ah, uh, no, nothing. Well, the sink's clean. Any water? Nothing's coming out. We got the faucet on all the way, but I can't hear anything. How about this light? The lights, huh? Nope, doesn't look like there's anything hidden there. And a thing. Testing, testing. Hey, it's great to see you all here. I just flew in from New York, and boy, are my arms tired. Wow. I wasn't expecting this from you, Seven. I like you even more now. Yes, thank you. I'll be here all week. Try the veal. That's not a mic, Seven. It's just a shower head. What? What the hell? Maybe he's on to something. Maybe it's actually a shower head. And maybe one of these tiles is a secret hidden thingy. Doesn't look like it. How about this faucet? Uh, faucet is pouring water? Okay, I wasn't sure if it was filling up right now or wait. Is it filling up? Bathtub's full of water. Is there ash or something in this water? Looks kinda gray. Let's just pull the plug. No, hold on. Eh? Maybe we can, I don't know, use it for something. Use it for something? Uh... Items. I wish I remembered how to fucking use this thing. Oh well. I'll figure it out later if I remember. And let's go to the store over here. Oh, I'm getting flip turned upside down. Where am I? Uh, okay, bathroom. There's something over here that I should be going to. Oh, I'm getting flip turned upside down. Again. Alright, this way, yes. Uh, oh. What's up with this door? What's up? And yet another plate. This time with all C notes. Can I combine them? Didn't think so. Okay. Eh, what do we have here? The safe is locked. It's one of those dial locks. It doesn't have a key, we just need to get the dials in the right place and it'll open. Find anything, Seven? Nope. How about you, Snake? I also found nothing. Great. Uh, let's see, anything else to click on? A leather suitcase. Nothing inside. I can tell by the weight, and it makes no noise when shaken. You really like showing off your sense of sound and other senses. Unfortunately, there's nothing inside that one either, though. Well, guess I'll back off. Now... How to navigate this room. Uh, what's in here? More things, and more plates. All G keys this time. Interesting. Maybe I should be searching these, actually. Uh, search the G plates. Rectangular piece of glass, you can see right through it. Couple of G notes written on it. Wonder what that means. And C notes. This is some kind of transparent glass plate. Uh, it's got some C notes, just like the other ones, except different notes. Seven! You could read music? Huh, didn't call that one. 
Also didn't expect you to be the comic type of person. Or comedic, rather. What, you think I'm some kind of idiot? Yeah, I know how to read music. Uh, I remember elementary school music class. Uh, more suitcases. Nothing in it. And this one? Nothing in it. Shit's locked. Uh, okay. Any hidden panels, perhaps? Doesn't look like it. Nay, hey, Seven, look! It's a Martian! And he looks pretty pale. Idiot. It's just a vase on the table. Well, I guess maybe it does a look a little bit like a anemic Martian. I get it, you're gonna use this vase, right? That's pretty clever, Junpei. We gotta fill this thing with water. What? What are you talking about? Oh, man, you don't get it? Just grab that vase and take a look around. You'll figure it out soon enough. Seriously? It... What? Alright, I'll take a look around. Uh... Fire? Let's go back. Oh, that's the wrong way. Guess I'll go fill this shit up then. Wait, what's this? Oh god, there's another fucking room. It's gonna be hard to navigate this place. It's probably some turn a button that I'm forgetting about. Oh well. There's some toilet paper on the wall there. Nothing that looks suspicious. Eh, toilet paper can be suspicious. It's a toilet. Doesn't seem to be anything in the toilet or the tank, though. Okay. Well, this room probably doesn't exist for nothing, so I'll come back here later. How about here? Okay. Uh, gross, cloudy water. Yeah, if we fill the face up, we can toss it. Huh? Not really sure what he's saying, but whatever. Let's just get this face full of water. Thank you. Uh... Man, he clearly knows something I doubt. The only thing I got is he wants me to go extinguish that fire in the other room. Come on, let's go back. Uh, back. Backing up, backing up, backing up, baby. Uh, fire. Fire. About time. Let's do it. Here we go! And... is that a... paper? Oh, he just wanted to extinguish the fire, but there's clearly something in there. Score plate. Just a normal one, I guess. Wait. Wait a minute. It's a ceramic plate of some kind. Looks like a blank sheet of music. Combine with thing. No. Combine with thing. No. Combine with thing. Okay. Well, that- uh, oh wait. As Junpei tucked the plate into his pocket, Seven cried out and stumbled, his balance lost. He threw out a hand and caught the wall in time to steady himself to the void the floor, but his face was flushed and he looked startled. Hey, Seven, what the hell was that? You alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just felt a little dizzy, that's a- uh-oh. Is this room being filled with carbon monoxide or something? Oh dear. Seven rubbed a couple of fingers across his brow, then shook his head as, a, uh, the head as if to clear it. What the hell's wrong with me? First memory loss, now I'm getting dizzy for some reason. Memory loss? Junpei couldn't hide the surprise in his voice. Seven, for his part, seemed unconcerned. Ah, right. Guess I haven't told you, have I? Told the rest of them, but that must have been before you showed up. Well, the long and short of it is that I don't remember Jack from before I woke up here. Didn't realize I hadn't told you. Well, well, wait a minute. You're talking about amnesia, right? Yeah, I guess so. Well, why are you an amnesiac? What happened to you? If I knew that, I wouldn't really be... One, wait. Yeah, Jesus, reading is hard sometimes when you do it for a half hour straight. Let me tell you that. Oh, well. If I knew that, I wouldn't really be one, now would I? 
Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Junpei paused for a moment and stared at Seven. Are you telling the truth? Oh. Uh, well, you look pretty calm for somebody who doesn't really remember anything. Well, Zero clearly wanted him to forget something. Wonder what? If you've really got amnesia, shouldn't you be, like, upset or confused or something? Well, sure, I mean, I was pretty confused when I woke up down on D-Deck. But that was a while ago. Now I've had some time to get used to it. He takes these things in light, doesn't he? After a while, I figured it wasn't worth the trouble of worrying about it. After all, why worry about something I can't change? Well, people usually don't stay amnesiacs forever. Yeah, I figure it'll work itself out eventually. That's... That's it. That's it. Ah, good talk, Seven. Alright, that's enough talking for now. Let's get back to work. Seven gave Junpei a look the younger man wasn't sure how to interpret, and turned to walk away. What? Somehow, though, Junpei didn't find his reassurances very reassuring. Ah, oh, well, I guess it's time to finally pick up this blatantly obvious note on the table. Heavy piece of paper folded in half. Has the letters S, C, O, R, and E written on it. Score. Uh, is that rearranged in any other words? R Roxy. No. Course, cor, course, course. Is that how you spell that course? No, there's, there's, there's an A in that one. Score. That must mean musical score. That's true. Then the score we felt was. Uh, uh, no. Reading, as I said, is very hard sometimes. At least at some point. Uh, what are these? A couple of lights on the wall. Uh, what else do we have in this room? There's that corner. Oh wait, hey. It says score on the paper. I guess you put sheet music on it? What? I am tripping super hard. Okay, I'm just trying to, like, like, get an architectural sense of this room. Anyway, this is some sort of antique desk. Makes sense, though, I guess. Soul room's full of antiques. You could get a nice handful of cash with all the stuff in here. Nah, yeah, you're not wrong. Somebody spent a lot of time carving the legs of this chair. It'll snap like a twig if Seven sits on it, though. Mind your own business. Did he say that out loud? Ugh, what an asshole. Eh, even more chairs. It is a chair. It... Is he gonna say something different each time I... Yeah, whatever. Eh, there's a cover, cover for a musical score. Okay. The couch? Eh, looks big enough for three people. Looks perfect for me. Eh, perfect for an elegant gentleman like myself. The couch looks more elegant. Hey, there's something you aren't saying. Never mind. Well, that's all in good fun, but... Let's move on. Wait, where are we going? Uh... Okay. Okay, so that's the dead body room. Alright. Let's have a look here again. Uh-huh. Can't look at that thing. I'm gonna have to like relearn the cam er, camera controls eventually. Hey. Oops. All right. What else do we got going for us? Let's go back and see Snake. Assuming he's in this room now. Hmm. A rectangular plate. The check. Texture, it feels like it's probably ceramic, you know. Fired clay, like a plate or a bowl. What color is it? Well, it's it's white. Is there anything written on it? Yeah, a staff, like for music. No notes though, huh? Interesting. How strange. Okay. Let's try and examine this light with all of the different plates. Nope, lights are on, lights are on, lights are on, oopsie. And... lights are on. 
Alright, let's have a look at the piano then. Oh yeah, I never bothered looking at this thing, this score up here. Is this a map of the ship? Oh, that's that's just a map of the ship, okay. A map? There's a map of a ship here? Yeah. <sighs> then I imagine it will prove very helpful. You'd best hold on to it, Junpei. Yeah, Alright. It is now possible to use the map screen. Map screen. The map screen can be viewed during any story sections. It is entirely different in function from the bird's eye view mode. While on the map screen, you can examine a map of the ship's floor plan, which you will acquire over the course of the story. Touch menu on the menu, blah blah blah. If you touch map, pit taken to the map screen. While well, there, you could scroll around the floor pan. Okay, touching the green parts of the floor pan. Well, no, yeah, blah blah blah. Bird's eye view of the room. Maps are great. Let's go. All right, sorry about that. We're back. Now, what was I doing again? You're right. Found a map. Now I need to look for things to do. I guess. Eh, music stand. Might as well put the music I found on it. Put the planet ceramic plate on the bottom and the monster. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Well, I put them all on top of each other, but they look odd. Doesn't really look like a song. Hmm. Then in all likelihood, we haven't found them all. We need to find more glass plates. Interesting. Wonder where they are. The window. There's an iron plate nailed to it. Yep, upright piano. Very old. I didn't mean to click that. How come I can't... Can I not properly move to view some of these things? Huh. I guess I can only view so much. Alright, let's look for more things. Let's try this bathroom again. Uh, plug out the end of chain. Okay, yeah, we could drain this now. Eh. Is it draining? Yep, there's a plate. Uh, D. Always D. Eh, nothing in it now. Yep, yep. Alright. Am I just... Am I gonna have to get all of the notes? Are there any more? Come on. Eh, uh huh. Okay, is that all of them? Uh, uh, the keys on this piano, not what you might expect them to be. C won't be D, D won't be, okay, he must listen carefully to determine which keys to strike, do you understand? Yep, sure. Alright, we'll give it a shot. Okay. So, hold up. Wait, how do I read sheet music again? Okay. These are all... Okay, okay. Good ol'... Uh, what's the thing called? Trouble clef? Yeah, right. Uh, alright, we got F, A, G, mm, mm. Is that C? F, A, G, C. I should just, like, be, be taking notes here so I could figure out which key is which. Alright, we're at Hey, 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 post-it notes. That's always nice. Okay. Got a pen around here somewhere. Oh, jeez. I should have... I should have been more prepared to take notes. Okay. Yeah, right. So that one's C. Hold up, hold up. Get, give me a second here. Making, making notes. Uh-huh. 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 Okay, got it. Okay, so that's just that's just a very common tune, actually. I've, I've heard it several times before. Okay, whatever. And we're done. Music is not my forte. Wait, what was that noise? Junpei, we did it. Looks like it worked. I heard something unlock over by the exit. Let's go. Good plan. 
Stan, bow, be seated. Well, I guess he hasn't forgotten that. At least Snake thinks it's funny. <laughs> yes, I suppose that was the classroom bell, wasn't it? Classroom bell. Ah, oh, shit, that is what it is, isn't it? I have heard it in other things before, though. Like, uh... Yeah, this this one store I go into uses that classroom bell sound whenever you open the door. It's it's cool. Anyway, I don't imagine that's what Zero was thinking of. However, no, no, Zero most certainly meant to suggest Westminster, not middle school. What? What's what? I I don't even know what Westminster is. Sounds familiar. The palace in London that plays host that plays host these days to the Houses of Parliament. You've heard of Big Ben, the famous clock tower, yes? When does this when does this take place again? Big Ben plays that very collection of notes on the hour. London, the capital of England, huh? At any rate, the door is now unlocked. Let's leave this place immediately. Eh, so that's just the English Big Ben tune middle school a lot I don't it's it's a lot of things really. There's still that safe in the other room though. Oh well, guess I'll look later. All right, let's go. Is this actually the way out? You found it. I guess I did find the way out. Eh. Well, I don't know about that safe. And hopefully I'll be able to go back there and take care of the safe. Yeah, I did get that map, so maybe the map allows me to go back and forth between places. Yeah, I can only hope that's the case. But, hey, for now, I will... What'll I do? Yeah, it's a good place to stop. One, one puzzle's enough for this episode. Alright, I'll be seeing you guys for now.